to give you some pro tips about what sells in vintage furniture side tables lately what we've been seeing a trend in is pink lots of pink the vintage pink in particular we can't keep smaller items that are painted in that here in the shop we've sold three pieces in the last week and we've got a hole to fill in so we're going to real quickly paint another piece that's been hanging around the garage and get it in the shop about three months ago, we painted this for a channel member video and the finish was going well, but then we put decoupage paper on the top that did not match and I couldn't make it look good. So I sanded it off and we're going to be giving it a makeover today in pink because that's what the shop needs. More pink furniture and vintage pink is perfect. Zep's going to be spraying it in our sprayer. We've got more videos about spraying, so we'll drop that in the link below. It's going to take us just a few minutes to transform this piece. To buy the vintage pink paint, it's an all-in-one. You're gonna love it. Visit jamierayvintage.com. Once we spray it on, the finish is there and all we're gonna have to do is distress it. Now that we've started spraying the college colors, this is our second project with it. I probably won't be able to go back. I love spraying it. The paint dried really quick because it's warm outside, so we're ready to distress. I'm just using my random Orbital and 220. We're bringing out some of the original paint. Originally, when I painted this, we used Bohemian Blue and a little bit of gray and salt wash. So we have some great texture coming through with minimal amounts of effort. Since the cottage color paint is a single step paint with a built-in sealer, it's really important that you wash out your sprayer right away because it will dry up and get goopy in there if you don't. Luckily, it's water-based. I just sprayed some water through here and it's really clean really fast. So as you can see, we have a bunch of stuff sitting on the floor here because we had a high chair here and it sold. We also had a, another pink table that I don't have time to replace, but we're gonna get a piece in here real quick. Oh, that button's undone. What? Oh, can't have that. All in, it only took us about 10, maybe 15 minutes to paint this. Plus some dry time and some drive time, but I think it turned out really good. I can't wait to get all the way moved into the church shop so we can paint outside and bring stuff in super easy. Hope this inspires you to get some pink in your life. If you wanna use the paint and products that you saw here today, visit jamierayvintage.com. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more DIY.